Tracy and I are at the coal mines today and we're looking at the uh, water troughs that were located at the uh, coal mines, uh, convict built. And where Grace is sitting now is the left hand side of this uh, water trough. And it's very hard to get an idea of what it looked like, but if you wait to the end of the video, the last one, it'll give you um, a good idea of what these were shaped like. So I have bits of um, flat sandstone rubble along there, some um, longer pieces there. And then I think this tree has taken care of most of it. And it comes right down to here where there's two large shaped um, sandstone. And they seem to have indentations in there slightly um, on both of them. I haven't seen this at the uh, other two. Um, and this one here is probably a metre wider than the other two. Um, and Sorry, a metre longer and just slightly wider than the uh, next two we're going to have a look at. Uh, this is at the southern end of where the station is and it was probably very close to where the original um, convict road was. Um, the current roads going past and through the coal mines weren't the original convicts um, used roads. How these water troughs were filled I don't know. I've never seen a creek um, running or a dry creek bed at the coal mines. So I expect they were placed where they were going to catch um, water from natural runoff. Um, or possibly there were springs um, located at the coal mines. There was a report um, in the 1860s of someone drinking at a spring here. Um, not this trough itself. Um, but it may have been one of the northern ones we're going to visit. I'm at the first of the two northern uh, water troughs and you can see along this edge here I've got four rounded stones and one just over there and it doesn't seem to travel along there I haven't disturbed it anymore in there it seems to be the boundary so we seem to be looking about maybe three meters by one meter and I can see along here the back the embankment where it was um, dug out and there's a piece of sandstone here it doesn't seem to be the same as the other stone so maybe this got dumped here at some time so there's nothing left of this um, apart from those few stones it seemed to be build, built at a different time than the next one I'm going to show you or the um, first one we saw it's in the bush um, it's really um, as much as every ruin down here is special, it's not really worthwhile losing half your face to the um, prickly tea tree to have a look at it. This is the most northern of the water troughs. Uh, it's still in very good shape. You can see um, the blocks here of sandstone, very flat blocks of sandstone which have been stacked on each other. It's probably the same size as uh, the other two that we've looked at. And the front here, that's the same stacking of these sandstone blocks. Um, the one we just saw previously just seemed to have rounded stone. It doesn't seem to have the workmanship that has gone into the sandstone material that's here. So the question is why were these um, built by the convicts at the coal mines and I'll just show you something now that might put a little bit of light on that for us. Now where Gracie and I are now is certainly deep in the heart of Mordor and what we've been looking for is a tanning pit. Uh, there was supposed to be cattle that were on the coal mines at one time and those cattle would have been used for food but their hides would have been used for um, such things as making shoes out of um, as there were bootmaker shoemakers at the coal mines now what we have here is a depression in the ground 
probably uh, three meters by one meter possibly and then I have a looks like a channel there which may have drawn water down the hill um, to this depression um, which they would have used to um, tan the hides in it's very hard to get a clear outline of this I mean I'll give myself a 50-50 chance if I've um, actually found a tanning pit um, but we have spent uh, a few trips and quite a few hours looking for this and um, to me um, I know the rough the area that it was but of all the um, features I've seen around here this one seems to fit the bill the best just um, probably 15 metres um, past the tanning pit there seems to be some um, depression in the ground here again and this is where that water course seems to travel down there so um, maybe this was a second um, tanning pit or maybe this was a small spring um, that was used to provide uh, water to the pits below and further past that little depression there is what I believe an old convict road that travels through there you can just see the cleared uh, moss there and um, you can just see us well you probably can't um, but there's a embankment a small embankment on each side and okay it's not the Midlands Highway but it um, travels in the direction that links up with the other uh, roads that head to the main settlement area so I'd say that this is the um, road they use to access the tanning pits. So with the presence of a tanning pit, uh, that means the cattle were on the uh, station and they needed somewhere to drink. So what I think is the um, water trough at the most southern end and then these at the northern end were a place for the cattle um, to drink and also there was a, only a couple of horses at the station there was usually just the medical officer and the um, visiting magistrate they're the only two that had stables so maybe this is um, for the horses to drink out of if they were this part of the um, settlement and also it may have been for this northern one um, to give the convicts somewhere to drink when they were working at Plunkett Point and the southern one uh, it's near the old convict road that used to enter the settlement so maybe that was used um, to also water horses that were, um, were visiting from the other um, probation stations and there used to be oxen that used to come up from the um, Saltwater River probate station that um, used to bring supplies up to the coal mines and mainly vegetables um, they may have used that water trough for drinking out of when they um, arrived at the coal mines so there you have it the water troughs the coal mine I said tanning pits not possums come <laughs>